Pandemonium. Located in my favorite section of the park, Fiesta Bay Boardwalk, Pandemonium offers family thrills, potential for greatness, and a history that just can't be ignored. Located where Joker's Revenge used to be, a backwards version of Corkscrew that was relocated to Six Flags New Orleans and included a funhouse entrance that is still used as a haunted house for Fright Fest, I always wonder when looking upon Pandemonium what it would have been like for both of these coasters to have been standing side by side. Furthermore, Pandemonium opened as Tony Hawk's Big Spin before Six Flags decided to part ways with unnecessary endorsement deals and rename the ride. And the other clone Six Flags owns, Pandemonium. A few small skateboard theming remains, and the roller coaster is affectionately nicknamed the Skateboard Coaster. The ride itself is a solid little family coaster, though the free spin seating aspect makes it unique. It is one of the few coasters in the park that seems to really improve after riding it many, many times. As one can begin to understand the free spin aspect a little bit better, predict what's going on, and start to branch out and actually enjoy the thrills of its small, but decent bunny hills. Though spinning rides hold a strong place in my heart, my head and stomach can't always seem to handle them anymore. So sadly, I'm not one of those people that can stay on when it's slow and ride pandemonium over and over and over again. But what makes me most intrigued by this coaster is the amount of potential that could have made it so much better. For me, being a skateboard coaster looking into a canyon wall, I can't help but think how great a near 90 degree drop down into a vertical half pipe like flying turn would be. Especially with how the free spinning aspect affects the feel of these drops. <laughs> like one of the greatest drops you've ever felt in a coaster. I, I mean, we're comparing it to the Iron Rattler here, so I'm pretty sure I'd be right. The overall track itself, from the tight wild mouse turns near the top to the solid helixes to a nice round turn that leads into some decent bunny hills, offers a lot that seems to get masked by the overall crazy spinning in the cars. I am sure the changing positioning of the spinning does great things for the overall feel of the ride. But I can't help but wonder what this coaster would be like with different style trains. What if we could just lock the cars so they didn't spin at all? What about mini coaster caterpillar style cars like on Streamliner Coaster? What if the track was used for a mini suspended coaster? Would it be as fun as a single rail steel coaster like Wonder Woman? My mind is just racing with questions of potential that will probably never be answered by the coaster gods. For now, Pandemonium sits as an interesting family coaster that I enjoy from a technical standpoint, but I have to admit, most of my fascination with the ride has little to do with the technical greatness of this coaster, and more to do with my overall interest in its history, context, and potential.